Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? Good to see you all. Um, I hope uh, you've had a good week so far. Today we are going to look at the mule deer. Uh, and again, as hey, how did we go last year? Did anybody finish the red deer competition that we were looking at last with the uh, with the smoke pole, the muzzle loader? Um, I don't know. Let me know if you had a crack at it and how you did. But today we are looking at the mule deer. There is a competition on. It's called, I think it's actually called muley bow or something like that. Let me double check. I took put I put a picture in the uh, in the Discord. Muley bow special bow, bow special. That's what it's called. So any bow, crossbow, recurve, long bow. I'm missing something. Recurve. Did I say recurve already? Recurve. Longbow, crossbow, traditional, not crossbow, sorry, compound bow, traditional bow. Uh, so you just can't use crossbows in it, basically. So um, I've started at 7 a.m. You don't need to start at 7 a.m. You can start at like 9 or something like this too. But basically, the best thing to do, uh, and again, I'm just doing this like, you know, pretending everybody knows nothing, okay? It's the best place to start when you're trying to teach somebody. So uh, you want to go, like there is a lot of mule around here in this part here let me draw, draw on here so this is a good pocket for mule, mule deer here actually to be honest with you i probably didn't need to uh oh all right then i cleared it but anyway I, i'd go like this let's go even up to like here i think is pretty good uh yeah a little bit less around here but then then a part that's often overlooked is like all up in here like this this pocket up in here actually has quite a lot of mule deer in it but i never really go there i don't think to go there um but these so this is kind of where you want to concentrate your hunting the most i'd imagine uh and then to get really specific definitely in these areas around this river and stuff like this too and this side of the river this side of the river here is good too all along there so um that would be my recommendations obviously as everybody knows special especially the uh, the really good guys of that this is just like a base point right that you can find them in other spots depending how long the game has gone for too they might have wandered off a little bit more than kind of outside this zone um but uh, around around here is more like grizzly wolves and elk you guys saw me, saw me with elk there same here more elk down in this place there's actually quite a good lot of mule deer and elk in this part here too it's a bit mixed um but yeah this is definitely the best kind of mule deer place and then up here you'll get uh, like some stragglers and stuff too so yeah there we go uh camera is blurry is it near let me have a look oh it is yeah. thank you very much that's really annoying when it does that again if anybody knows please how to make it so my settings actually save at the end you know like I, why why should i have to keep updating my settings every single time oh i realize my head's in the way a little bit too my big ass head for uh for the map but i think you get the idea right and uh, um yeah so so this is basically where we're going to be focusing today um i have a tent down here which was who cares recommended um which i'm going to fast travel to uh and then we're going to go i basically there's two ways you can go you can go straight across to this tower or you can dip down to the uh to the river honestly it's a 50 50 it, it, you know you're either going to hit it or you're not there you if you're going this way have a little look across these lakes as well because uh, there's often mule deer kind of kicking around there from there you can either go down or just across like this basically so that, that that's how we're going to do this to start with so uh tennis how you doing good to see you yeah i saw some people talking about the start of the stream basically uh we don't have a good classic um oh man i'm such a sucker I... we don't have a good starting so all, everything you saw those are all my personal trophy shots from over the years they just keep going uh, rotating through so um i think we probably need to get one made now like we have one at work um but you know I'm still I'm still at home, basically. So, all right. Uh, should we should we wait for this elk to come in, or should we just focus on the mule deer? I'm uh, I'm I'm totally up for you know whatever you guys want, basically. Uh, 
can you ask you something? Yeah, as long as it's not Call of the Wild related, Rainbow. Go for gold. We're not doing Call of the Wild today. Uh, might as well, might as well snag an, an, an elk early. Now let's go and uh, let's get the first guessing game underway, and you know, maybe it'll kind of curb my. Uh, is that somewhere down there? I don't think so. Well, that sounds like oh, it's the same one again. All right, so I'm gonna wait in this uh, this bush here, try and get myself a good sight line with the elk. They're not as scary. Uh, like if this was a mule deer here, I'd probably be crawling a little bit more, going a bit slower. But the elk seem to not spook as easy. So uh, what we'll do is go camo view as well. There we go. You can see it's all green. I don't have a uh, the right hat on, but uh, it doesn't matter what you're standing next to or whatever in this game. It's kind of goes off by the, the terrain you're standing on, right? So even though, like, the only the only times it matters actually if it's you're behind something that you couldn't fire through, if that makes sense, like a hill or a rock or a big tree. Like, that will block your, your sight line a little bit, but it's more important to be prone uh, and stuff like that. So there we go. Uh, so you get 500 EMs in this, so... Uh, can you make somehow the stuff for classic free? Well, it is free, Rainbow Dwarf. It's a it's a f like completely free to play game. Even to buy the game, you don't have to buy it, so you just install it, and then you just grind for whatever you want. So yeah, you don't have you don't have to pay anything at all. Could someone explain this game to me, Leonardo? It is a it's a Expansive World's first hunting game. It's much more hardcore than classic. Uh, sorry, than Call of the Wild. It's more in depth. Uh, it's just like uh, some people don't like it so much because uh you know it's a little it can be a little brutal um and uh you know you won't shoot the same amount of animals as you do in uh in uh call of the wild he don't look so big unfortunately but you know it is what it is let's have a little look through the scope Yeah, it's a small one. 215 to 310. Remember that one, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Need a new bow. I'm going to win one guessing game. Gotcha. When will there be some raffles for Classic Thunder? That's a good point. We haven't done any for a long time, have we? We usually do them around special events and stuff like that. Uh, let me have a chat to the team because it is it is the uh, the midsummer's event starting soon, uh, and then of course we do some around Christmas and stuff like that too. But that's a good point, Thunder. We used to do quite a few raffles, didn't we? It is Leonardo. It is a more realistic kind of game. It's still a game, okay? Like, we get, we keep it fun. There's no gutting of the animals or anything like that. Uh, and, you know, uh, I think you'll see what I mean. But they do spook a lot easier. Uh, and, and they don't come back in. Like, you know, Call of Wild, they come back to the... There's no need zones either. Um, so, yeah. What was this elk? This is an elk here. So we're just we're just getting a. Uh, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I should have I should have ignored it and gone for mule deer. But you know what? I'm a sucker. So we're going to get you guys a uh, quick guessing game to start off with, and then I'm going to get back out after the mule deer. I'm just a sucker. Like, what if this is a four? You know, 400 plus elk on this. That would have been. Uh, I would have been kicking myself, right? Got him. Right, so, elk down, so, 215 to 310 I think it was, Chucky guesses it now ladies and gentlemen. Challenge you in a, I've been training for my mule deer hunt, so been, uh, running 6k's a day for us, wow, uh, Flip City, that's awesome bro, you'll be in great shape for that. Alright, here we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it pretty, uh, pretty fresh, you know. And, and 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 quick it's really damn hot in here ladies and gentlemen I'm sorry so i i i you know i'm awesome uh I, I my brain's usually scattered but at the moment i'm just totally like 
so bear with me all right like i said we're going to keep this uh, pumping along pretty fast today so uh you know don't dawdle basically 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one uh, let's go oh Ned's, Ned's in there and it was Quartal Do in YouTube it was the last guest there so 271 let's have a look up there two I'm gonna just gonna, gonna try and find two 276 for Ned Bella uh, two seventy four for Mr. Belden and then straight under him Panzer with two seventy three Ooh, Lucy with 269.3. I I believe Pans is closer with 273. Just. Just, I think. But uh, someone's more than, you know, s someone can uh, prove me wrong there. It's fine. 273 for body as well is not... As good as 273.5, unfortunately, body, but good guess. Uh, wait. Quartal do. Qu Quartal with the last guess, and, and he legit got it in there with 272, takes it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let us know what your uh, classic name is, Quartal, and, uh, you know, after the stream, I'll get you those, those EMs. Stop flirting with me, Elk. I'm not interested today. Oh, there was a lot of close guesses there. A lot of close guesses. Alright, so... I got a feeling to go down to the river today, ladies and gentlemen. So, so we're going to go down uh, and, and do this, this route here. I quite like, uh, uh, what do I say, travel routes with good visibility. I think it makes a big difference. Rather than going through thick bush, if you know what I mean. So, quite do. Are you Australian? And is that like a magpie noise? What is your classic name, buddy? Uh, it's quite awesome. Let me write that one down before I forget. Shall keep the auto work on. And start crouching. Uh, cool. There we go. <laughs> How many EMs do you get if you get it right? You get 500, Xander. 500 EMs. Napo American. It's reference to the magpie farm. Ah, well, so it is the same thing, but American. Quartal Oodle, uh, what's it? Quartal Oodle, Quartal Quartal Doodle, Waddle Oodle, the magpie says. That one? Is that the one you're talking about? I can't remember how it goes either, but I think I know what you're talking about. Woo, it is hot. That's the one. Yeah, they're, uh, 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 a nice sounding bird, a really nice sounding bird. I I don't know uh, who know who knows, but I like I don't think Austra Australia's got really nice looking birds, but I think a mag the magpie is about the only nice sounding bird. Um, because yeah, I mean like cockatoos and stuff are just screechy, screechy screeches and that's all i'll say about that oh, i have my glasses i have my glasses on sorry uh and then a lot of the other birds are just screechy squawky parrots and stuff the liar birds are nice though the liar birds got a good song kookaburras sound cool kookaburras are awesome they've got a lot of character kookaburra kookaburras i um 
I was sitting in a park eating my lunch once because I used to be an arborist and uh, I had like a bit of deep fried chicken in my hand like this. I was like sitting down on the grass, you know, and um, uh, I think I must have had like this, just talking to somebody and one swooped down like past my shoulder, grabbed it out of my hand, flew off into the tree and then of course laughed at me because that's what they do, right? Cheeky buggers. Magpies can talk. They can indeed, as long as they're, they're trained to. And I think, I think they have to split their tongue as well, uh, which is uh, a little bit of a, a different subject altogether. But yeah. Oh, hey PLA, how you doing, man? Good to see you. That's more difficult for for beginners. Well, uh, San, how is it? Sandragon? Is that how we say it? Sandragon? Uh, ask away, man. And like the best, best thing, two bits of advice I can uh, give you is go and read the Wikipedia. The Wikipedia is amazing. Amazing. You can find that in the launcher too, under the help section. Go help section on the launcher and there'll be a link to the Wikipedia. Uh, and then also go to YouTube and watch some guides. Some really good guides out there too. So, feels oddly empty here. Got to just got to keep keep faith, you know. Some scent eliminator on too; it helps. Memorial on Discord. I did, Ned. I congratulate you on it. It was awesome. 131 or something, right? 133, I think, Ned. Very good. The book you should be just renamed the Hunter Classic Bible. It really should be. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, who cares is the main curator for that, and he does an absolutely fantastic job. Um, so, yeah. Your mum wasn't too happy, well, yeah, I can imagine it. But, uh, you know, I'm sure I'm sure she saw the look on your face afterwards and then realised how uh, important it was to you. When we tell about the, uh, more about the new animal coming to game, so not for a little while yet, uh, but like, like we said, it's a couple of months away. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we just wanted to kind of give you guys, because there's been a few people like, what's coming out, you know, and of course we've got the Summer Fiesta coming out first, but, um, I'm basically, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm a bit too excited, uh, and just kind of wanted to share my excitement with you guys, so... New Animal on Classic is huge news. It is. And especially seeing as it's got antlers, right? Like, uh, you guys will be rooting tooting for that one. You can't reskin antlers. Where are you? Mule deer. I think I might uh, head back over the other way from here. It, it, it's it's not feeling very uh, busy. It is zigzag time. Yeah, I mean, let's let's do it this way, okay? 
a little bit closer to the time, if somebody guesses a score to point zero zero one of the score, then I'll, I'll give me, I'll give you guys another hint ahead of time. But not now, not not today. Um, a little bit further on. Here we go. There's one. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, the jackalope, Mr. Bell, the jackalope. So I think this is a, uh, a solo mule deer, this one, but we'll have a look. It could have been where they spawned too. No, uh, there is absolutely no reason for a suppressor to go on the 223 semi-auto uh, Harpia. Unfortunately, that would be uh, a little bit broken, my man. If someone guesses on the dot, on the dot, well, I, I still can't tell you, unfortunately. But uh, I was trying to trying to make it a little bit more likely, because you know, guessing it on on the dot to the fourth decimal spot is uh, pretty unlikely, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if something just ran away. Oh, it might be this grizzly bear. No. I, I definitely heard something. But I didn't see it. I uh, didn't see what it was. It's kind of, uh, for the first time ever, a little bit annoying that there's elk down here because they are uh, for sure taking the mule deer calls. another male here then so I guess maybe we just go a little bit slower because uh, this is my biggest problem right as I never stay focused um, on the mule deer because we know that an out called down there a lot of tracks here too I don't know what They'd be from maybe wolves? I often get a pocket of wolves in here, but... There's the carcass. Maybe they've just been going around around circles here. Do I have the... Oh, no, I don't. I'll take that. Oh. Um... Yeah, that's right, Harpia. I mean, in real life, right? You definitely do that, but you've got to maintain balance in the uh, in the game. So putting a suppressor on the semi-automatic two two three, you could just at mo goats down, all sorts of stuff. It would be uh, it'd be crazy. It's definitely, uh, I mean, this is kind of a... I'm glad this happens sometimes. Because, like, you know, when I get a big animal... I mean, unless we're in multiplayer. You know, actually, there is a multiplayer game now. But, you know, I always think... I bet some people think I'm cheating. But, uh, as you can see, it doesn't always work out. Anyone else's mouse starting to go crazy off the latest, uh, the latest Windows update? Oh, everybody's. Alright, it's not just mine. Seems to be more on the second monitor. Nah, that's good then. Little boy. Really little one. We're not even going to bother with them. Because we are sticking to the mules. And I don't see any. 
Oh, let's keep going. We, we're going to get somewhere, and there's going to be just this huge pocket of mule deer somewhere that we're having a party. Really, like this is feels abnormally strange. I feel like restarting the game. Just something feels off. What species on this map? Mule deer, Rocky Mountain elk, grizzly bears, grey wolves, ptarmigan, bighorn sheep. Did I miss something? I think that's it, right? Ptarmigan, bighorn sheep, cougar, mountain lion now too. Uh, I think I got everything. Do you live in England uh, or a tree, Kiwi? I live uh, in uh, Sweden and I'm from New Zealand originally. That would be annoying, Mr. Belden. The mule deer have followed me, I reckon it could be, it could well be. Why not doves? I don't. I don't know. Shooting the, the 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 bird of peace and love, you know. Bigfoot's not on this map. Bigfoot's on uh, on uh, Red Feather Falls. I literally think the mule deer have just disappeared on me. We'll keep walking and keep grinding. Wow. No males with female mule deer in this game unless they just happen to be in the same vicinity you don't get groups of males and female mule deer love the haircut <laughs> thanks is that how it is real life I actually don't know Ned I don't really know a lot about mule deer uh, behavior and patterns and stuff I'm gonna guess that it's probably like a lot of other deer they'll roam sort of separately uh, and then maintenance season comes around and it all gets blown to own the crap you know I, I would imagine the the bucks stay together and then all of a sudden they hate each other and then they go and chase the girls and uh, you know and then I don't know what happens I don't know if the, the does stay together again afterwards uh, when they're given birth or yeah, I don't know. There'll be, there'll be some people. Oh, I saw a mule deer, but I think it's a female. There's a few. It is a female. What is the best mon animal to shoot for money in classic? That is hotly uh, debated, actually. Um, but basically, y you get. Uh, money from the CSS so predators are pretty good uh, and then obviously like any sort of birds like ducks and geese kind of add up quite fast too uh, they don't have high CSS really but they uh, you know you can shoot quite a lot quite a lot of them so I, yeah basically I mean my my pick would be any predator um, yeah it's probably the, the, the starting point anyway turkeys yeah turkeys are another good one uh, high vortex Puma's the best GM, just not a lot of them. Yeah, there we go. Do 
Okay, this is really weird. Can we get a longbow stream in the future, Landon? I, my, myself and the longbow do not get along well in this game at all. I, uh, it's my kryptonite. So, I can try and do it if you want, but if you just want to see me really frustrated and angry for a whole hour, um, then I would advise against it, basically. We can do some recurve streams and stuff. It's hot in here. It's got to be 34 degrees or something. 35 degrees centigrade. It's uh, really, really hot. Um, you have a fan there? I do. It's uh, sitting next to me off because it's too noisy. You're doing a lever action on your challenge, that'd be really good fun, Ranger Cowboy, really good fun. Oh, that might be that one that we saw. Oh man, it's so weird, sorry, I just gotta put these glasses on again. If you guys are like, what is he doing? You can buy sunglasses in this game and they tint your sc screen, so you can either get dark tint ones, or I like the, the yellow ones, because for me it helps to see through the shadows. I can just quickly put them on and off, so. You have to practice with the longbow to perfect it. I do thinness, I just don't have the uh, patience or desire. I know a lot of people use it really, really effectively. I, I am not that person uh, that, uh, that can do that. Hey, Two Moons, how are you doing? Good to see you. Sorry if I missed your uh, call. Oh, Brad. Wow. Wow, I just read your fat bridge. Uh, I wed your methods. Yeah, the recurves are really fun, Landon. They're really good. All of them, actually. Anything new coming? Odd Man Gaming. So, uh, we announced last week... Uh, in a few months time there is a new species coming out it has antlers and that is all uh, we will say for a little bit now bloody cold that that does sound rather, rather cold actually uh, wait oh uh, Aren't you guys... Hang on. I'm trying to work it out. I always get confused with that. Is South Africa in winter or summer at the moment? Because I can't remember if you're the same as New Zealand or the same as Europe. It's winter at the moment. Okay, there we go. So it's the same as New Zealand then. Southern Hemisphere, right? All right does what is that over there is that something in the water splashing around it's a rock splashing around what is how long have we been going are we going have we going long enough to fast travel because something something doesn't feel let's have a quick look over here but this don't feel like a good spawn and if you played classic long enough that'll happen though and this is definitely what do you call it, an old wives tale or whatever if you stick to these maps long enough, there's usually a big monster animal on them some somewhere. Usually. I mean, we've only found, like, one buck track, too, right? You know, if I found one fleeing, I'd kind of be happy. Yeah. 
Nice, Victor. Trying to get a little bit slower again. Maybe I'm spooking them off, but like I say, haven't even come across any tracks, you know, so. What does clip do? So clips basically makes like a uh, a quick video, like you can clip a section of the stream now. I've had it in Twitch for a long time, um, but uh, it's just been added recently to YouTube. So, you know, if, if you, there's a part in anyone's stream that you think was funny or informative, you can clip that and it makes a separate video from it. So, Lucy, catch you later. Is it possible to make classic time like all the while? No, it's uh, it's again, Len, it's kind of based to be a little bit more realistic than Call of Wild, where you can't just quickly change, uh, you know. I mean, like, you think about hunting, right? You're like, okay, we're going to start hunting at X time in the day, 5 a.m. We're going to be in the tree stand by 4 p.m. That's kind of what this is based about. So you choose your start time and then you go for your hunt. Is that a track there? <gasps> track! Oh! Oh, he's back over there? Really? I mean, we were basically just there. We were basically just there. Alright, so there's another muley around here somewhere too. I'll call that one over to us and then go and have a look down at this lake here. But it's probably going to call that little one in too. Y yep, sure I have Dawson. Wake up with a terrible case of the dryers. Dog, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Looks like I found the herd of bucks. A, a massive, the massive herd of bucks. I mean, I think uh, when you call in mule deer and then you realize it's the five brothers, as it's called, that's a pretty exciting moment in the game. Uh, it's kind of one of the coolest suspenseful moments, trying to see, you know, what comes in, how many come in, and what all their, their racks look like. A wolf over there. Alright, so this one's coming in from that way to try and remember the squiggle. Sorry, just blind you all for a second, but I just want to cut through these shadows again quickly. Alright. I feel like there's got to be another one here somewhere. But I mean, this one here is like, doesn't re it could have a big rack on it, it doesn't have a very high weight estimate on it, so I'm not expecting anything too amazing. That other one over there, who knows? Who knows? I'll, I'll put some, uh, a little bit of spray out over here actually, just to... I think I saw him actually, I might have just spooked him. Hey 
Hey Nix, uh, there is a uh, new species coming out in a couple of months' time, uh, that's, and it has antlers. That's all, all we've given uh, clue-wise, but uh, there is a lot to do in Classic, my man. There is a lot to do. Um, yeah. I just, uh, someone asked me, oh, it's me, because actually, how like, many hours I got now? I got 2,200 hours in the game, which is uh, not a bad little effort. The weight is 85 to 105, Alvin, on this one, so it's not very heavy. Hey, it's a body's birthday. Happy birthday, body. Hope you're having a good one, mate. Apparently, uh, Hungary is quite warm at the moment. It's been uh, a little bit of a drought, uh, from what uh, the hunting guide was telling me. And uh, I go, actually, that's a good point. I go to Hungary uh, on, at the end of this uh, month for some hunting. And I miss a Thursday stream, but we will try and fill it with somebody else. All right, cool. So now we're back on the other one. Oh, man, he didn't go far at all. He's on the uh, the slow boat. He's going to be quite hard to... Oh, well, he'll go down to that. I think that other one ran away. I'm pretty sure I saw him. But uh, we won't assume. I just... I think I saw him and he, and he, and he turned around and ran off. How I got 2k hours on only 6,800 underscore. Not shooting as many animals as me, basically, but kill it. So it's the only, uh, oh wait. Oh no, it's not, I thought I saw a mule deer coming in. That's basically the only way you get hunter score. Oh, there, there's a, uh, a mule deer there. I have a feeling it's a female though. Nope, it's a buck. It's a small buck. 95 to 110. So, what we can do now quickly to see if that's the one that we just saw. Let's go pick up that track. Where is it? Yeah, same one. See how the weight changed? So that's the same buck. Uh, they could, yeah, it's the same buck. Do you reckon, Alvin? I think most of the big ones have got like 30 kgs plus. How long have we been working for Expensive Worlds? I have been working... Sorry, what the hell? For nearly four years now. In October, it will be. He's not gone. I can't work out if I can hear. Two said. All right, he's coming in. Sorry, just got to concentrate here for a second. Uh, yeah, it'll be four years in October. It's pretty bang on. I'm just going to go and refresh the... Uh, oh, there's another one right there. Oh, it's a grizzly. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mule Deer. We're going to We're going to sit still. Uh, da, 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 da. uh Ah, 
Okay, Alvin, we'll have to go and have a look. Does it say the weight in the trophy lodge? Let's have to go and have a look too. I don't think that scent eliminator is going to be there anymore, which is the issue. So we're going to have to just stand up and put an arrow in them pretty quick. Oh, he's so close. I don't really like this setup, being honest with you. Is that the brothers have arrived? I, I don't know. I haven't had a call from any other ones, which makes me think that it's just solo. There he is. Oh, he's huge. Absolute monster. Guys, you uh, like you've probably never seen a mule deer this big in your lives. Um, you know, don't get too excited, all right? It's just uh, you know, not everyone can be as good at me uh, as me at, at hunting mule deer, okay? Um, so just uh, you know. Oh, he's going to run away with a single lung. All right, then. He was a big boy. Let's, uh, let's take this one here. What was the guess on that one? What was the guess on this one here? Sorry, I should say. No, oh, not the one. Look at all the stickers on him, too. Ugh. Ugh. Put in your guesses. I can't remember what this one ma maxed out at, unfortunately. Oh, I know, Dilly. I know, absolute massive. 115, 155 sounds about right. Sounds about right. Uh, surprising. So, get the guesses in fast. We're going to do this quickly, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking like 30 seconds maximum you got to put in. Five. Four, three, two, one, and so it's snowy in YouTube, and Dilly Can is the last one in uh, Twitch. One twenty point one nine. Let me go up quickly. One twenty one sixty six. Oh, I see what the cap of guess was for now. 129 would be the closest so far for Mr. Belden. And then 115 for Doki would be closest after that. But then Brad's with 126 would be closest. And then Brad's straight underneath you is somebody with 121.1256. MW Army in YouTube. Uh, let me see if there's anybody with a closer guess than that, but got a feeling about it 
and my feelings telling me that that's the end of it. MW Army, congratulations, man. Let me know what your, uh... Oh my god, I'm 12th of that monster. Wait, is that a... And how is that intestines? I don't get how that's intestines, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I'm gonna let Doc get angry. I wanna try and get... A bigger one. We don't have much time left. 4.49. Got 11 minutes left. No mule deer tracks here. Interesting. Hey, so how are you doing? Good to see you. Has it, have we got his uh, name yet? There was an Elk Bugle next to me. Uh, Mick plays. Uh, I'm guessing that's you, uh, Mick Hunter 03. You seem to change your name an awful lot. Um, there was, but we're after Mule Deer today, man. So, uh, purposely ignored him. You can act Dawson, you can actually Google where is 5 o'clock right now. I mean, it's 10 to 5 right here now, Dawson, so, you know. But like I say, uh, well, Finland, there we go. At Finland, it's 10 to 6 now, so. Oh, on YouTube, it's been the same then, but uh, on Twitch. For months. Months an internet term is, uh, you know, for names anyways, it's pretty short. It's also there in South Africa. There we go. Look at that. It's uh, past bear o'clock then. Why don't I get that big one you shot earlier? Which big one that I shot earlier, the Highlander? Are you talking about the, uh, the huge, big, massive mule deer that was very tiny? Yeah, no, that one's, that one's, uh, I was going to say Doc will pick that up for me. Me and uh, Doc are good mates now. And uh, I'll just be like, hey, um, mate, I, you know, I got some mule deer meat for you. Just got to go pick it up. And he'll be like, okay, thanks. So his freezer is, uh, freezer's running a little bit empty, believe it or not. Damn, it is, like, my top is, like, sticking to me. Whew. Hey, Woken, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Hey, Kudu, good to see you, buddy. Arrow building tonight. You know what? I do have some arrows to build, but I don't know. I'm out of I'm out of acetone, and I need to uh, clean things properly. You know, but I think it might be just a normal stream tonight, bottom boy. Maybe, dearly, maybe, maybe. Let's see, I, I have to go down to the supermarket and, uh, uh-oh. This is going to be great. It's clearly not charging if it's got time to reload this big bad boy. Maybe it just, uh, oh, it did, it just, <laughs> it just did the... Hey, I'm a grizzly bear and I'm over here, noise. Man, this is really, this is a really weird spawn. Really weird spawn. Maybe I should have stuck to my normal 9 o'clock spawn.
Why aren't going after the second buck? We just found uh, because I'm trying my best to actually try and get a uh, a bigger one in competition mode. Uh, yes, you should go and pick them up. I'm 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 not basically uh, because it was an like if it was a long shot, I would have gone and followed him. But I don't think I have time to get. Well, actually, maybe maybe there would have been time. Eight o'clock sleep time for deer. It can be, yeah. Oh, I didn't. W Wami, thank you very much. Let me put that one in there. Oh, M W, sorry, M W. Uh, there we go. Oh, you just missed the sarcasm. All right, I got gotcha. you. Seems there is no spawn. It's definitely, uh, I mean, you just get, it just happens like this sometimes. Like, honestly, sometimes you get an amazing spawn and then stuff all over the place. And then other times, you know, it's just a bit brutal. Which is, uh, you know, it's just hunting, right? That is the, s the biggest elk I've seen all day. 150 to 245 being very much sarcastic here by the way giant animals today that's right huge huge ones and this has not been a very good reflection at all of uh there's another mule deer down there but it's a female uh, not being a good reflection at all of how to mule deer hunt in here. Um, so unfortunately you're just going to have to take my word for it. Which, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get all the conspiracy theorists, uh, angry. We shouldn't just take people's word for it. I trust nobody. Yada yada yada, etc. etc. Conspiracy theorists. Smoke it. One more guessing game. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look down here, and then if uh, oh, in chased by elk, uh, by wolves rather, I think. This is very weird. You know what will happen, right? We've got four minutes left. Uh, and then right at like two minutes left, I'll get a mule deer front. It would be great if you could like change your change your call a little bit. Why are you no come in, Elk? I want 
this huge one here. 150 to 245, remember that, ladies and gentlemen. He may not be big, but he's worth 500 EMs. I mean, you know, he's not even going to score what <laughs> his total score is not even going to score the, t the to uh, one side of a big rack, basically. He's uh, charging and look out, Barbara, I'm coming through. I think we should oh see the mouse going weird thank you thank you windows update perfect should be a four five four them <gasps> skip lap you want some too barbara All right, let's get this guessing game going. 150 to 245. I was going to say 145 to 245. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been messing my mic settings up for a while, actually. Well, actually, the last one that they did last night seems to have fixed my mic settings. But my mouse is all messed up hardcore, so... All right, we're gonna wrap this up soon. Get them guesses in, ladies and gentlemen. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eh, eh, eh. Octavio in Twitch and uh, Ulster's channel in YouTube just got in there. Ulster's uh, Al Alster's channel just got in there. 191. Let's go up to the top here. Uh, 202. Uh, Pablo with 188 would be closest so far. Uh, 188 still closer than Dilly's guess. Oh, wait. Is it? 188. Yes, it is. It's 3. Uh, 188 is closer. Sorry, Dilly. 193 would be closer now for uh, Manu Flock. Looking pretty good there with that guess. Did I miss anybody? I think Manu Flock might have got it. What are the guesses? What? What's absolutely uh, stupid? Uh... Oh right, I gotcha. Yeah, it does suck. There's no release date yet. But you know what suck even more? Releasing a really buggy game. Yeah, I think Manu got it too. Manu, I believe you've won in the past. What is your what is your uh, your classic account name? What was your guess, Hunter? Hunter five eight three. Oh, it is Manu Flock. It was one eight nine. Let me go and do the maths quickly. Was it one eight nine exactly, Hunter? Where is Hunter's guess? 189.4 and 189.4 my brain 
shutting down is less than 2 193.8 actually it is it's uh unfortunately money vlog it is hunter 587 is closer i do believe it's less than two points away where you're just over so um uh manu unfortunately uh, you don't win today buddy but hunter 587 what is your classic name i'll get that paid out to you buddy Very close, very close indeed. Smith, beautiful. You've won before as well, haven't you? Congratulations. All right, ladies and gents. Um, have a fantastic uh, rest of your week and your weekend. Uh, and uh, I'm probably going to do this tonight, I think. We'll see how we go. Um, I, I really like hunting mule deer with bows. So, yeah. Thank you very much, everyone. Hey, and if you, like, you know, you want to see something in terms of uh, how, you know, you need some help on something, you want to see a special kind of competition, or just, you know, uh, at me in the Discord with your with your stream idea for, for what you want help with, and uh, we'll try and put something together, all right? So yeah, have a good one. Thank you very much.